I'm Edward. Here we are paddling on Lake Louise. Lake Louise is part of Banff National Park in Alberta, Canada. And the park's most popular attraction is UNESCO World Heritage Site, and it's the most photographed place in Canada. Its beautiful turquoise color comes from rock minerals that are dissolved in the glacial runoff that feeds the lake. With the backdrop of Pope's Peak, which is actually located in the neighboring province of British Columbia, this is one of the most beautiful places I've ever seen. The lake is very deep, running about 230 feet or 70 meters at its deepest spot. But with its beauty and easy access by car comes lots and lots of tourists. There's also an eight story, 539 room hotel on the bank of the lake. Renting a canoe is a great way to experience the lake while escaping the crowds at that huge hotel. We rented a canoe for 30 minutes and paddled almost to the end of the lake and back. Out in the middle of the lake, it was really pretty and peaceful. Plus, my parents did most of the paddling, so I just soaked up the view. Be careful not to fall in the water though because it's just above freezing and hypothermia will set in quickly, even in the middle of the summer. If you happen to fall in, you have no more than 15 minutes to get out and get warm. And a canoe can be very difficult to get back into from the water. So be careful not to tip over. Needless to say, almost nobody chooses to swim in any lake in Banff National Park. Lake Louise is frozen over from November to June. So if you visit between June and October, you will likely be able to rent a canoe. The lines can get long to rent canoes, so it's best to get there early. My dad said it was 153 Canadian dollars for 30 minutes. Although you can do an hour for just $12 more. We thought that was pretty expensive for what it was, even though it let us get away from the crowds and enjoy the natural beauty of the lake. If that's too expensive, consider Emerald Lake, which is 33 minutes away and $90 per hour, which is way cheaper than Lake Louise. Moraine Lake is also an alternative with fewer crowds, but is about the same price as Lake Louise. On all three lakes, canoes can fit three adults, or two adults and two smaller children. Was the experience worth the price? Well, maybe next time, we would have saved some money and gone to Emerald Lake instead. But I'd definitely make some time to paddle on one of these three incredible glacial lakes if you're visiting Banff in the warm months. Well, that's it. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And remember, life is short and the world is wide, so we'll see you on the next adventure.